is our flattening knife demonstration. It consists of our hand driven rotator and uh, an apparatus that has a flat steel band loop that is mounted freely around the central post that will spin when we apply the rotational motion. This demonstration is used to explain why there is an equatorial bulge on the earth and other large spinning bodies. So how does this explain that situation? Well, when we are in a stationary situation, the elastic potential energy is trying to balance out gravity, and when it does so, the stable position is in this circle. If we then introduce rotational motion, we will be applying a force known as the centrifugal force that points outward from the center of rotation, which will then act on our steel band loop. If we have an outward pushing force at the equator, it will push it straight out. And at the poles, it will push it at some angle to the surface of the band steel. So you can imagine the centrifugal force at the equator will push it out further than any other point on the circle. At a slow rotational speed, you will see that the relative shape is still rather circular. The faster I speed it up, the more and more the equatorial region bulges out and the smaller the pole to pole radius becomes. If I keep this rotational speed constant, you will see that the radius and the amount of bulge that has occurred become stable and this is at the point when the rotational force or the centrifugal force has balanced both gravity and the elastic potential energy within the spring steel. The slower I go, the less bulged it becomes and the more circular you see our ring. <laughs>